guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a hot minute and i apologize for that just been a little bit crazy doing work and i went on a bit of a christmas break um so yeah let's roll with it today is my two year youtube anniversary and it's crazy to even think that it's been a good year i think i feel like i posted a lot more than i did last year I'm definitely starting to get more comfortable in front of the camera. I'm not as shy as I used to be. Um, it's easier to pull it out in public, like when I see a bunch of other people have it. Um, and I know the last couple months I've slowed down a little bit, but I'm hopefully in the next year, it will be a lot more and some cool videos come out and more collabs. And um, I can't believe that it's gonna be 2020. Like that's crazy. And that's for the YouTube point uh, stance. YouTube's about to change quite drastically. I know we had a lot of problems with COPA and the FT, FDA and FTC for like the children violating children's rights. And so I know starting in January 1st, so tomorrow, um, Anybody who has a child that's 13 and under that's on their own ch like channel, like those unboxing channels, they, what it sounds like is they will go to their like kids YouTube and they'll lose their revenue that they get. They'll lose their like, uh, like videos that you can watch, like what's next. Um, and you, no comments will be allowed. Um, and then if there's like, kids yet you're like a family vlogger and you have kids that's going to be slightly i don't know how that part's going to work because you get put in a special category that's like a mixed audience one that it's if it's not directed directly towards children then you go into this mixed audience category and sometimes that's the hard part though because sometimes your videos are not like your goal is not for them to reach out to children yet we don't really have the choice to say if it is or not Sometimes, um, sometimes YouTube will put you in a category even if you're not. So I don't know how that's going to play out. I hope they have a better realm of what they're going to do for that. And I know it's going to really mess up a lot of people, especially with people who have, uh, like their kids have their own channel because that's really going to hurt them. I know that's what they do for fun. As for like family vloggers, I'm not really sure what's going to happen to them at all uh there's still changes but we'll start seeing them flow out starting tomorrow i believe um but that kind of sucks and that means youtube's gonna be changing quite a bit um i don't know if comments are gonna come back because right now it's kind of like wishy-washy they come back for like a little bit then they get taken down they come back and then taken down so i'm not really sure how they're gonna um do that and hopefully it I don't know i'm i'm really kind of nervous like i'm looking forward to the new year for that but i'm also nervous because i don't know what kind of changes are going to be implied for everybody else who doesn't have a child like if it stays the same for us or not but if not it's <clears throat> we'll see and uh good or bad i'll still stay if um you know i'll stay and keep doing what i'm doing uh, but I know there's been a few people who have just stopped daily vlogging or stopped posting for like their kid channels because they know it's going to get like hurt anyway in the process. Um, also, if you are a ch like if your video is for children, you have to post now that like it's like a, a check you have to put on your channel like, hey, yeah, it's promoted towards children. Um, and so I'm not sure what will happen. I know if you violate that uh that's gonna be pretty bad on you i think they'll probably there'll be some definitely some consequences of some sort but yeah other than that it's crazy to wrap up an entire year we are literally less than 24 hours away before the new year and i i know 2018 was a really hard year for me a lot of changes happened uh i had my first family death um and i just had a lot of like not so great things happen and so I chose for 2019 to have like a better positive outlook on life and just try with kind of like a fresh start and that's what I like about New Year's because you can start fresh 
this one is like the end of a decade. Like, to be honest, when I was younger, I didn't think I'd be here uh, in 2020. I was like, that's it just it's so mind boggling to think like, oh, yeah, we're going to be here in 2020. Uh, that just seemed like a lifetime away, but it's here. It's crazy. It's I'm excited for what it brings. Uh, the last six months I've really been working about on myself and for like healthy boundaries, setting boundaries and just learning to grow me and do what's best for me um, and being okay with the outcome of that. Um, but it's been fun. It's been kind of hard, but 2019 overall was a better year. I grew a lot. I grew a lot in my job. I grew personally. Um, and I feel like I grew through YouTube too, just because I'm getting more comfortable. It's, you know, with the whole thing, it's fun to go to those conventions and stuff, um, and learn and see how you could do better. And I really do want to do better, but ideally YouTube for me, isn't like everybody else. I'm not like trying to make like the money. I just post videos cause I like it. Um, if you're getting bored of what I'm posting, please leave a comment below if there is comments of what I could do better. Um, because yeah, I want to keep you guys entertained and keep you guys, you know, interested. So keep me posted on that. But overall, yeah, I'm looking forward to 2020 and just really what it all has for me and what's in store. I hope to continue to grow. I definitely see traveling in the near future. Um, and yeah, I just hope to, I don't know, I want to be just like let loose and just do whatever, like if that's what I want, because like they say, you only live once and you're not promised tomorrow, so live your best life. Um, and so I'm going to continue doing that and continue to do what makes me happy. And sometimes that means, um, change and change isn't always easy. Have I learned in the last, um, six months but it's been nice because sometimes like they say change is for the better and although I can't always see it it has been pretty good and I'm looking forward to like what other changes come my way and I'm open to whatever happens and I hope everybody has a good 2020 like the whole year like I hope it's good for everyone I know it's not like it's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows we'll have our bad days and we just have to grow from from those um but i really feel like this is my year like 2020 is going to be my year i don't know why or what's going to be so different i just i feel that and i feel more optimistic going into 2020 so i'm hoping i don't know i'm excited i'm excited to see what it brings and what i can learn from it but yeah i hope you guys have a fun last day of New Year's Eve and here's to 2020 and peace.